Yo, what up, guys? Jersey with more DW9. On the last episode, Yuan Shu was actually making things really interesting. He plotted a bandit attack here to attack Sun Jian and steal the Imperial Seal. Obviously, we smacked their butt cheeks in the dead, but I want to see how this continues there. on. This Everybody. is uh, making things a lot more interesting. And why is the gate locked for me? I live here. Um, that's fine. Was unlocked when I left, or did I climb out? I don't even know. Man, this music sounds new. What is this? You bitch. Sounds new to me. I kind of want to hear it a little bit. Our target has been decided. All units forward. You know, it'd be cool. I walk over here and soon Jane just puts a little dagger in his back. He's just like, ha! Fakayu, you want to? Ah, that's cool that I get to walk back there, dude. Right. Be honored, for it is I who shall face you. What? Oh, we gotta fight him now, huh? Are there still no reports? All you need to do is capture Sun Jiang. And the Imperial Seal will be mine. How hard can that be? Finally, they're back. <laughs> yeah, the bandit's back. Ah, Sun Jian, what are you doing here? It is nice to see you in good health, Master Yuan Shu. I heard that my wife was here with you. I have come here to thank you for looking after her. Well, wait, please. This is all just a misunderstanding. Oh? What kind of misunderstanding would that be? Uh, this is a party. Yes, that's right, a party! My wife wanted to throw a party, so she invited your wife here as the guest of honor. <laughs> yeah. That is too kind of you. As such, I suppose I should be expecting her home any time now. Uh, yes. Yes, I would expect so. I will make sure she makes it home to you safely. Do you expect me to believe that? Uh-oh. <laughs> you and Shu, if you really want the Imperial Seal, I can give it to you. In return, I want my wife back. Know that if you lay one finger on her, I will hunt you down to the far corners of the earth. Hm. You rely too much on your military prowess. You know that won't be enough for you to make it through this age of war. Let us make a deal, Tiger of Jiangdong. Damn, he's got balls all of a sudden. I am about to engage in war against my half-brother, Yuan Chao, of Yi province. When that happens, I want you to promise you will side with me. After we defeat Yuan Chao, I will give you any rank or privilege you desire. Let us not concern ourselves with minor matters, but join forces and look to the future. Not only do you demand the Imperial Seal and for me to serve you, but you kidnap my wife as well? Just who do you think you are, Yuan Shu? I will soon be the greatest man in this land, and you? Surely you desire the future security of the Soon clan. In that case, you should think carefully about accepting my offer. That is one of the worst deals I have ever heard. However, even I must admit there is some truth behind it. Very well, I shall accept your terms. However, we are through after this. You do not want to mess with my family again. If you do, 
you will learn what it means to enter the tiger's den. Do you understand me, Master Yuan Shu? I shall serve you, but do not forget what I just said. Hmm. Very well. I will ensure that your wife is sent home to you at once. As for the rest of your deal, I will be in touch soon. Wait a short while. I have given the Imperial Seal to Yuan Shu as ordered. Are you sure about yeah, this, Master Sun Jian? He gave it to him Sun so Jian? quickly. I wouldn't have given yes, it to him so quickly. I have no need for it any longer. If it brings my wife back safely, then I am happy to make that. Did he trade. guarantee your wife's safety right now? We At the moment you traded. We can on you to remain true to yourself, my lord. Huh. However, I can't stop thinking about what you and Shu is planning to do with the Imperial Seal now that he has it. Something stupid. I'm just glad that mother <laughs> is home safe. How do you know she's home safe? You guys Where are here. Where is our lady now? Yeah, exactly. She is resting in her quarters. She is tough, but such an ordeal would take its toll on anybody. Maybe she's in the camp with these guys. Although, to be mm -hmm. able to threaten you and Shu into making such a concession, I'm beginning to wonder who held who hostage. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew you were a great man, father. You managed to shut up Yuan Shu, despite being vastly outnumbered. No, we got the short end of this deal. We've lost the Imperial Seal. And now we're caught up in the fight against Yuan Shao. Yuan Shu is a cunning man indeed. There is little that can be done about that now. No matter what path we take, we are bound to be entwined in the chaos that shrouds the land. Yuan Shu ordered us to attack Xianyang. It looks like our battle against Yuan Shao is about to begin. Xianyang. It is under the control of Yuan Shao's ally, Liu Bia. It seems Yuan Shu wishes us to secure his rear border first. Father, leave this to us. We cannot allow you to do everything by yourself. Well said, Chuan. Of course. I'm going with you too. You don't mind, do you, father? Don't forget about me. This is for the sake of our entire family. Sir, Chuan, Shang Xiang. Very well. Let's get going. Shang Yang awaits. In that case, I should take my leave. I shall pray for good fortune to befall your family. Thanks again, Lu Su. You know, you are welcome to come with me if you like. I am truly honored by your offer. However, I doubt that Yuan Shu is willing to look past my recent transgressions. As such, I think I shall lay low for a while. Until we meet again, my lord. I understand. I shall welcome that day when it comes. I look forward to fighting by your side one day, Lu Su. Yes, indeed. Take care, Master Zhou Yu. Lu Su, hmm? I think I'm starting to like that guy. He is exactly the type of man we need fighting for our cause. Okay, let's get going. It's time to begin our invasion of Shangyang. Dude, what if Lu Su planned all this shit to happen? Think about this for a second. What if he was like, Yuan Shu, we don't, we're not good enough to take on Cao Cao and Yuan Shao at the same time. We need some extra muscle. We know Sun Jian has the Imperial Seal. Let's devise a strategy to force him to join us. Let's grab his wife. He loves his wife so much he'll trade the Imperial Seal. During that, make a deal with him, tell him, fight with us, you know, to ensure your wife's safety, etc, etc. What if this was a well-fucking-devised plan by Lu Su? How cunning, how amazing that would have been if he pulled that off. Is that real or is that true? I don't know. This is just an imagination. My imagination always, like, runs all over the damn place when I play, uh, you know, these kind of games. And I, and I feel like... Had this been a strategy of his, that was 
this may have been well played, more well played than what Suma Yi did in his story by forcing Juge Leong to force his hand. I don't know if you remember that, and if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. There's a the playlist is in the description. You'll find Suma Yi's videos, whatever. Um, but damn. Imagine that, man. I'm kind of hoping they'd show a little cutscene somewhere around here, a little conversation between Lu Su and Yuan Shu. I just want to see something like Master Yuan Shu. The plan has worked just as I said it would, or uh, just as I said it would, or something like that. And oh, oh my God! If it works, if it, if he did devise all this, like damn, my respect for Lu Su is just gonna skyrocket. But if they never mention it or anything like that, then I'll just. And I guess it was just coincidence, you know? Because look at this. he was They were attacked by bandits at night. How many bandits was that? Five bandit leaders, and then each of them had like five little troops with them. That was not a very, you know, large force to take out Sun Jian. So, and they didn't even hire, uh, they didn't even use their real troops. They probably went out, found bandits, threw some gold at them. Hey, go attack Sun Jian and tell them something about an Imperial Seal. You know, make it obvious what you're there for. You're gonna beat him because he's weak, you know, and they're obviously gonna take the gold and be like, oh, he's weak, let's go. They die. Uh, whatever gold they gave him doesn't even matter anymore. Soon Jian gets mad. He sneaks over to Yuan Shu. Maybe Lu Su foresaw this, and Lu Su's like, yes, very well, I'll sneak you in myself. Obviously, he's gonna sneak him in himself to reinforce his strategy. This is all assuming this was his strategy, so... To reinforce his tactic, I'll take you there myself. Let's go sneak on in. They're in there. He threatens his life, blah, blah, blah. They trade the seal for the wife. Now he's in their forces. Oh, man. How fucking cool would that have been if this was a strategic plan? Lu Su. See, please, somebody, tell me. Was this a strategic... Do you think this was a strategic plan? Fucking tell me, man. I, I love the idea. If it was, I love that idea. It was very well played. Very impressive. Whew. I, I'm probably overthinking what really happened. Because that's usually what I do. But sometimes overthinking and having an imagination makes things uh, more fun. So, right now, I, I like what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm like, man, that was so well fucking played. Whew, I, I really hope that's what it was, though, the strategic line. Why do I have to... What happened? Uh, I guess we'll point to that one. I like it a lot. Whew, Lusu. Whether that happened or not... I like, I like my idea better. <laughs> I hope it was a strategy. Damn, if that was a strategy, imagine the shit he would come up with. Against, you know, real enemies that they're trying to kill. So what is, what's this one? We haven't done really a stage yet. We've been doing a lot, sure of, this, lot of talking. Is Yuan Shu really the type of guy we want to be helping? It's like you said, Su. Yuan Shu's army outnumbers us many times over. Hmm. If we don't attack Shen Yang, Yuan Shu will simply attack us instead. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So you're saying we have no choice but to obey him. Yes, but we will have a chance if Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao end up going to war. We simply need to bide our time and wait for that opportunity to arise. I remember what you said, Father. You said that one day we'd build a new world of our own. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't remember saying that. Hey, Father! There's no turning back now. Listen. It is my dream to create a land where people can live in peace and harmony. I do not care about ruling a country or the land itself. I like this thinking. The Soon family. No, I am a servant of the Han Imperial Court. However, I must also look to protect myself. Do you know what has become of Zheng Dong and the lands of Wu? Wu is your homeland, my lord. I've heard that it has been ravaged due to the effects of war. There are no massive armies like those of Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao there. 
That has led to countless skirmishes between its warlords, allowing bandits to thrive. If I were to quell the chaos there, that would not be seen as turning my back on the Han. That is why I wish to subjugate the warlords and take control of the land of Wu. From there, we can build up our strength in order to oppose the likes of Yuan Shu and Yuan Shao. In other words, we shall create the Kingdom of Wu. Yes, I think I like the sound of that. Most impressive, my lord. Yeah, I knew my father was the greatest man alive. However, in order to do so, we must first win this battle that lies before us. We shall create our own future, and we shall do it with our own hands. Damn. So far, from what I've played on this game up till now, I feel like Wu has the best Toad story so far. It grabs your attention. It's, this has been grabbing my attention far more than what The Way has done, and I've done The Way story about three times. Um, the Shu Kingdom story was alright. It talked about Liu Bei, you know, before he was a warrior and all that. I thought it was interesting. I kind of wanted them to go a little deeper. This is actually taking me places that other games never really touched up on. We did not we did not get threatened by Yuan Shu in other games. I was never aware that he grabbed uh he, he took the dude's wife. You you just go from one stage to the next, all of a sudden Yuan Shu has the Imperial Seal, you know, in in previous games. Here they're explaining how he got the Imperial Seal from us. I like it a lot. I think this is Probably one of the strongest portrayals of the Wu, uh, the Wu Kingdom and all the Dynasty Warrior games so far. Um, and there's some funny scenes. You got Han Dong. Who are you? He's just funny. Um, there is some good stuff here. Sadly, Sun Tzu, like, they have these interesting conversations and then Sun Tzu just says some random stuff that doesn't even fit in with the conversation. You're the best, Dad! Yeah! And it's like, you know, dude, let's... Stick to the conversation, man. You're just kind of veering off on the nothing there. Um, let me see. What are my favorite things about each kingdom right now? I haven't played enough of the others uh, to know, you know, like who's got the best story in the others right now. But Jurong is definitely the hottest girl character in the game. You just you can't you can't deny that. Okay, so that's that's what the others get right now. In the uh, Wu Kingdom, I think the Wu has the strongest story in the game overall as a kingdom. I don't know about individual characters, but all overall, and I'm still early on. We're not even have we haven't even done much, but I feel like they have the strongest story already, and I'd imagine it only gets better from here. Uh, the Wei Kingdom, uh, what are, what are they? What are they? They have the best portrayal of Cao of Cao Pi I've ever seen throughout all the Dynasty Warrior games. That's what I like so far, and of the Sh uh, the Shu Kingdom, Bao Sanyang's voice is perfect. It that it nails her character down, that straight down the line. That it fits her her personality. It fits the way she looks. It is it is she nailed it. Whoever Bao Sanyang, whoever is voicing that girl, stick around because you're kicking ass. And that was only from the Ju Rong uh, cutscene. Imagine, I can't I can't even imagine when I start playing a character the cool stuff that she's gonna say because. It, she sounds bubbly, and that's the kind of character I've known her to be. So, I think they really nailed that one. Um, what am I doing here, exactly? So, we are, uh... What is this? Oh, I don't want to do that just yet. Let's go do this thing. So, that is what I like from each faction so far. Gotta play a little bit more to see... Um... What else I, I end up really liking. So, eliminate the assault unit. You should be there in a couple seconds. <clears throat> okay. Hello. I'm surprised that we did not get to play this stage as Sun Jian because he is he's still alive. He's still in the cutscenes. He is still alive and kicking. He's doing a ton of a ton of shit here. He's he's actually right here. <laughs> so it's weird that he was not. I, I was not able to do this stage with him. Too. How am I 
supposed to get any experience if I don't start somewhere? Huh? It looks like the enemy has occupied that fortress over there. If I can take them out, Father should finally let me go with him. Very well. Where is the fortress, my lady? Oh, right here. Yeah, 400 away. That That is doable. <clears throat> Come feel the pain of Sun Cheng Zhong. Who am I killing? Just you. Ugh. How were we found out? How did they Damn. find us? Oh doing? my lord! Zhang Yu. Hello, Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu, feel the strength of my fire abilities! Oh yeah! Get out of here, boy! Counter attack! Zap, zap, zoo! All right. This should be enough to force Away from my horse, peasants! I can't wait to see the They're not even man enough to handle its farts. Get away from its ass! All right, let's go. Uh, that one's done. So now we can go do this one here. Kazam! Let's see what that mission's got packing for us. So. Uh, about half of this episode already has uh, just been conversations, but they've been some interesting conversations. Oh my. I like it. In this game so far, this will be the first game where I would say the Wu Kingdom is my favorite game. Usually I'm a shoe kind of guy. I don't think there's been a game where I've liked the Wei Kingdom ever, I think. But this is probably this will be the decided. first game where I like the Wu Kingdom oh, more than anyone else. Forward. I knew they would come through here. Bow's ready. Shoot them full of holes. And it's not even because I like more characters in it or whatever. It's it's completely based off how their story is told in said game. So I mean, obviously, the majority of the games there is like a shoe fanboy somewhere out there trying to make them look like the best people on the planet. But I don't. I didn't. Uh, I don't know. They didn't feel so amazing here, so far. I've only played one character anyway. I want you to go. You go, bitch. One hundred twenty-five gold the peasant gives. Was that your life saving? You vermin. Defeat the enemy's vanguard. Your age. Oh man, I want to see what we're gonna do at Fun. I bet we're gonna do some crazy shit at Fun Castle when we go to take out Guan Yu. Oh baby, I got, I have high hopes right now for uh, the for the Wu Kingdom, for the Wu Kingdom, the Uwus, the Wu Uwus, the Wookie Kingdom. Excuse moi See. Now that the story, now that I found a story that I'm actually starting to like, all the bad stuff in this game is kind of hiding away from me. It's kind of like, I'm kind of like ignoring the dead open world. I don't even care. I'm trying to get to the next part of the story now. This is what games are all about. You find something you really like and you keep looking for it. And I think if the game had a really good story told for everybody, then I think it wouldn't even be that bad that the open world was trash. But and the and the voices need help, but if the story's good, they have they got you gotta give them good lines. It's not just a good voice delivering the lines. You gotta give them good lines. That's the least you could do. If the voices are not gonna be amazing or perfect, whatever, you gotta at least gotta give them some strong lines to deliver that dramatic effect, to deliver that anger effect. You gotta you gotta make the consumer the people that are playing the game feel like wow that guy was pissed okay you got to make them feel oh this is a sad moment you got to give them feels feels are always a good thing in games that's why tokiden 2 is definitely one of the best uh stories that uh, uh koei tech mod released in a while because it, it touched everything there was funny moments those feels moments those action moments tokiden 2 very good that's random because this is dynasty Warriors. that's tokiden but you got you got to get into those things, and I know you guys are capable of it. So let's get in here. Uh, oh, we're fighting another old man. We 
Hello, Goldie, Goldie. <sighs> Do you have your hearing aid on, boy? Because I've got mine turned up to max setting. Striplings? Boy, I'm as old as you! Maybe not. You think that is going to save you, oldie? You can't even call him old because you're old. I mean, you could call him old if you want. But you guys would probably laugh at each other. That's, you know, like the old people, when they when they call each other old, they just kind of laugh because they're like, No, oh, you're old too, bitch. <laughs> We must find a way to neutralize their archers. Oh, the archers? I already de defeated the daddy archer, so you guys find a way how to deal with the other fire archers are doing. My aim was off. My aim was off. I want your gold relief, Captain. I'm very sorry. Will make me more what? Oh, I thought he escaped. No, he just—I got the gold, I think. <laughs> you prove us old dogs can still fight. Good work, Chung Bo. You're showing them that these old dogs can fight, huh? Capture Fun Castle. I'm actually—I'm not gonna port. The hell I look like, boy. Let me just—I'm gonna find the. Oh shit, that's water. Are we gonna find a bridge? Oh. Oh. There's a bridge here? Do I want to cross the water, dude? Oh my. Here we go. Oh! Of course, it's too fast. Here we go. We're good. We're good, guys. Yeah, I need to relax. <sighs> You're gonna give an old man a heart attack screaming like that? Defeat Wang Zhu. Water here. No. Why did I try to jump? First, we need to capture that area over there. Hmm. Everybody, prepare to go to battle. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. Boy, I'm about to Assassin's Creed this motherfucker, boy. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Hmm. Huh? So you've come, Shangtong Bumpkins. I will be the one to cut you all to the ground. You're not cutting anything to the ground, boy. You can barely cut weeds. <laughs> Come here, fool. You wish to battle a real man. I'm an old man that climbed a wall to get here. My defense diaper has been changed in months. I can only imagine how angry I am. Sun Chan and his rabble. Bloop. I need to fall back and see what happens. You already died, though. Split. Forward. You'll push onwards to Shenyang. This victory will make me more Crap, I gotta kill this guy quick. Kill him quickly! Got the gold. Oh, for some reason I thought that was the final stage for the thing here, but it wasn't. I'm gonna port it there. I think going that way would be faster. Maybe it won't. Load me up. Here we go. Level 25. Level 25. Where is the mission at? I know it's telling me to go that way. Okay, that is definitely the way. Do north. Northeast. So I'm here to defeat Wei Yan. Sun Jian's attacking. Liu Biao. Anyone, stop that crazed tiger at once. Somebody help! There's a tiger here. It is. He's got drool. He's got. He's foaming at the mouth. Ah, throw rocks at it! Assume your positions. Do not Assume let Sun Jian or his men anywhere near Chen Yang. What the fuck? Oh, fine, never mind. Lu Biao, 
You shall pay for your crimes to the Imperium. All forces, you shall never to destroy to the enemy. Let this next strike determine you shall die. Victory. And we shall lower a bridge onto we your things that we in this battle. Need. Keep moving. Because we are Liu Chi. Liu Chi. You shall die as well, boy. Give me 125 Now's gold, you worthless Destroy shit. The enemy. Yep. Whatever, I'm gonna go just farm gold We're off you guys. Let's go this Eventually, I need more gold to buy the houses. I gotta buy furniture. Ready for battle. Yeah. Let's smash the enemy siege weapons to pieces. 125 gold. We've arrived at Sean Young. First, I think I'll take care of those ostentatious siege weapons over there. Any siege weapons over there? I already killed the, the dude. For you two, for you three special people, I gave you the magic. Sean Young fought to a man like you. Lord Lubao, you can escape this way. They already died. We can't let them get away. We shall chase them down no matter where they run. Han Song has been defeated. What's going on? Looks like just a little bit of delay here. Let's see what we got. Interesting scene. That wasn't bad at all. And that is totally a dad thing to do. I don't want to appear weak in front of my children. No, no parent wants to appear weak in front of their children. So that is totally a real dad hey, thing to do. This must be some kind of big joke, right? Father? Father? I don't believe it. This isn't happening. Father! We need a physician. Somebody send for a physician immediately! Our Lord has already passed. <laughs> My Lord. How did this happen? How could something like this come to pass? Master Sun Jian. Father? Open your eyes. No! You can't just leave us like this! Please! Father! Father! What do we do for our next move? There is no we without Master Sun Jian. I suppose we'll be merged in with Yuan Shu's forces. 
I refuse to let that happen. The only reason I agreed to fight was because of our Lord. I would rather leave and go home than serve under Yuan Shu. I understand how you feel. However, you would just leave Master Sun, sir. Master Sun Chuen and the princess behind? I... You should be free to decide your own path. However, we must pay our last respects to our lord before we go. Father. Sa! Brother, what do we do now? Sun Tzu, if you do not rise up, Master Sun Jian's dream will end here. Yes, I know that. Of course I know that. There's no time for us to mourn his death. Chuen, Shang Xiang. It's up to us to carry on our father's dream for the land. You're stronger than I could ever be, brother. Come on now. Did you expect anything less from me, Chuen? Brother, are you crying? Of course not. You know me better than that, Shang Xiang. After all, I am the son of the tiger of Zhang Dong, Sun Jian himself. Tzu. Brother. Sun Tzu. Chuan, Chang Xiang, Zhou Yu, let's go. Together, we shall forge a new kingdom in Zhang Dong and realize father's dream. <laughs> My lord, are you seeing this? Your children have grown into fine young adults. Stop your crying. It's unbecoming of a warrior. <laughs> Let's go, Hoangai. There's something we need to take care of. Sorry, go on ahead without me. I'm not sure if it's my age catching up with me, but I need to clear my eyes. Not you, too. Come on, You Chung guys Fu. cry too easily. You're supposed to be warriors. I guess you greenhorns are just softer now. Cry with us, man. Come on. Where are you going? That's a wall. Master Sun Jian, I shall be oh. honored to carry on the tiger's ambition. And then they load us here at his... Oh, man, that was actually cool. Oh. Alright, so now we're heading down to Shoshun. Uh, yep. I guess we'll load in and see what the next uh, little cutscene and stuff is. This is cool. I kind of liked what they did here a little better than DW8. In Dynasty Warriors 8, when Sun Jian was dying, he was like... Take the Imperial Seal. He didn't have he uh, he didn't have it anymore in this game. He had already given it up to Yuan Shu, which makes more sense as to how Yuan Shu ends up with it in the first place. But in Dynasty Warriors 8, he gives it. I think he takes it out of his pocket when he's about to die or something. I think what is it? Uh, the hypothetical route. He's like, oh, the Imperial Seal. I think it saved them from an arrow or something. But when he's dying, he gives Sun Tzu the Imperial Seal. And, I don't know what he tells him to do with it, but I actually don't remember 100%. It's been a, it's been a couple years since I played Dynasty Warriors 8, or seen that scene rather, anyway. Um, but it's definitely different, and I think this one makes the way the way they went about it here makes more sense, which adds on to why I like the uh, Wu Kingdom better than the other the other kingdoms more at the moment. What the where the fuck you guys come from? What is this? Boy, what is this lag? 
What am I doing? No! Oh, I thought the game crashed. I couldn't. I couldn't pause or anything. Joe, you. We're fine. This battle you're describing is all in your head. In my opinion, I just do not think it's realistic. But Master Cheng Pu, while we sit here wringing our hands, Yuan Shu's force just continues to grow. Ugh. So you're saying we must defeat him before he engulfs us and seize control of his base? Is that about right, Zhou Yu? My lord, have you heard the word reckless? <clears throat> Sun Tzu has momentum. He also has the ability to draw people to him and inspire them. With that, now is the time to show the world that Sun Wu is in Zhongdong. <clears throat> Why do we listen to the musings of Halaju? That's a valid argument. <sighs> listen, let's call it a day. Then tomorrow, I want to hear everyone's thoughts on this. That is a good idea. When you're inexperienced, you seek experience from you, from those around you. So that was a smart place, hey so. Hold it now. Oh. <laughs> went a little far, didn't you? Personally, I really think he had a point back there. I really do. He did. But he is way too passionate for his age. It comes from being a highly intelligent but rash youth. We must teach him better, understand? I understand. At least for now, we must... Show him exactly what a battle truly is. Hmm. Chung Poo's pretty cool right now. I like him right now because he's like an angry grandpa. And he's like, you're stupid. He just tells you right in your face, you're stupid, okay? This is how it's done. We're going to show you how it's done. And you're going to grow into a better man because of it. That's the right way it should be. You need, sometimes you need your grandpa to kick you in the nuts and tell you you're wrong, right? Though a lot of us are not lucky enough to still have our grandpa, have so... With you and Shu. Sun Tzu, that sucks. You're free to make your but next in this case, move, we have one. Fit. Take advantage, Sun Tzu. Well, thank you, Zhou Yu. Everyone, have you completed your preparations? We're about to secure a land to create the kingdom of U. This will serve as the foundation for our future ambitions. Chuan, Shangxiang, Zhou Yu, Chang Pu, Huang Gai, Han Dong. I need all of you to lend me your strength for the trials ahead. Speed will be the essence in this battle. We must overwhelm the enemy position before they have a chance to strike back. That's a good tactic. The longer we take, the greater disadvantage we'll face with provisions and troop strength. We must focus our efforts and quickly seize victory. That is actually a good tactic. You gotta do it so fast that they have no time to react. And doing that, you can defeat a larger force if you By catch the way, them off guard. There are some people I would like for you to meet. Come on in! Get a strategical position, and where the hell? We just got four new squad members. This is Zhou Tai and Lu Meng. They both know how to handle themselves in a fight, so I invited them to join our army. Damn. My name is Zhou Tai. Okay. I am Lu Meng. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You guys are new here. Try not to outshine me, okay? <laughs> Forget about that. Who are these two? Distractions. This is our lord's wife, Lady Da Chao. <laughs> She's joined by Lady Xiao Chao, wife of Master Zhou Yu. Thanks. Um, it's nice to meet you, everyone. Come on, everybody. Let's do our best out there. Yeah. Master Sun Tzu, you're not planning on taking them to war, are you? I have also mentioned this on numerous occasions. Are you sure about this, Sun Tzu? They both want to come with us. 
Surely, you know, as well as I do, Zhou Yu, nothing is worse than being left behind. We promise to stay out of the way. We'll do whatever we can to help. Hey! We're pretty tough in a fight, too, you know. Well, I guess our hands are tied. Just try to be careful out there. You hear? Yes, Grandpa. Okay, let's go. It's time the name of the Sun family rang throughout the land. <sighs> Grandpa Pooh. That is your name. I'm not calling you Strawberry Man or Strawberry Jam. You are Grandpa Pooh. Very well. Damn, there's like a very strong family essence here in the Wu Kingdom. Everybody. Notice how in a lot well, of the, the cutscenes we're all balled up talking to each other. I like that too. That's good. I do think having a closeness with your family is a very important thing to have in life, especially when you're growing up. And I think they're I think they're doing it right. Um, but guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you all next time. Till then, see ya.